What's up everyone and in today's video I'm finally getting back to the MCAT because so many of you have asked about it and today we're going to cover how to properly review your MCAT practice tests and this is really important because the AAMC only gives so many official practice tests so maximizing what you can squeeze out of each test is really important. For those of you who haven't watched my previous MCAT videos I highly recommend starting there before you get to this video um, because this is more specific while if you're looking for broad strategies there'll be links down below. My first tip when reviewing your MCAT practice test is not to just review the questions but to also review the passages. There's a lot of good information you can get just from the passages themselves. So look for things in a passage even if it's not directly asked in a question. For example when reviewing the biology portion of your practice test you should make sure to go back to the passage and make sure you understand everything about the tables and the graphs that are shown. Even if there's not a question directly on that row or column in the table, you should still make an effort to figure out what exactly is going on there because that can possibly help you on the actual test. And one thing I highly, highly recommend when taking your practice test is to mark things you're unsure of. Like in a table, if you don't understand a row, or in a verbal passage, there's a shift where you're not really understand how the tone shift or what the author is saying exactly to mark things in the passages themselves so that when you come back to review your practice test, you'll be able to directly pinpoint those areas of confusion in the passages themselves, even if there's not a question on them. My second tip is for every concept tested on the exam, make sure you verify that you know all of the related concepts as well. So for example, if you, whether or not you got a question about a southern blot right, you still want to mentally think, do I know all the other blots, like a western blot? And if you don't, you should really go back to your notes or wherever to make sure you understand everything related to that concept. Because the AAMC only has so many practice tests, and they're not going to be able to cover each and every specific question and concept. But if you do this, and you're able to expand that web of ideas for every concept tested, you're basically going to know everything material-wise when it comes to exam day. My third recommendation is when reviewing your practice test to not only review the correct answer and explanation, but to make sure to read all the incorrect explanations as well. And you might think that just reading the correct explanation is sufficient, but I highly recommend reading the incorrect explanations as well because while it might take some time, it's really helpful. And that's because it helps you understand the logic of the test maker, the kind of assumptions they want you to make, the kind of steps they want you to reason through. My fourth tip is one that I think works especially well on the MCAT because it's such a broad test that tests so many things and that requires you to memorize so many little equations and facts. And that's to create a list of concepts, equations, facts, or anything else that either are constantly reappearing on your practice test or that you constantly keep forgetting. And that's because obviously you'll have something to quickly reference to save you time down the road, but also having things written in your own way and seeing that same sheet over and over is going to help you much better solidify that information. And by putting things that constantly reappear on practice tests on it, you're able to better specify what are the most important things for you to know. And it's also something you can reference the day before the test. My fifth tip is a quick one, and that's to make sure you review every single question on your practice test. And I know a lot of people that start this way, but then they see how daunting it is and then they just move on to reviewing their incorrect answers. Don't do that. Make sure you review every single question, whether right or wrong. And there's a lot of benefits to this. One, it helps you keep track of what concepts appear more often than others. So that when it comes down to test day, you're able to see, okay, this is most likely gonna appear on the exam. This is very less likely. And you're also able to better put the most relevant information in that fact sheet that I just told you about. Also, it's just another additional pass over the questions which is going to help you better solidify the information, especially when there's this many questions on each practice test. My last tip is actually a really cool one, and I think it's going to be really helpful if you use it. And that's for when you're reviewing your practice test, you're obviously going to be unsure of some questions, and you're going to be like, hmm, I still don't understand this even after reviewing the explanation they gave 
and thinking about it. So where do I go from here? Yes, definitely ask your friends or your teachers, but one cool trick that you can do, and that's to copy and paste either passages or questions directly into Google. And you'll have tons of people on Reddit or wherever talking about how they were confused about a certain passage or a certain part of a passage or directly addressing something in a question. And so you'll be able to get, this. sometimes it's a little confusing, sometimes people don't know what they're talking about, but for the most part, it's a really valuable resource. All right, well, I think that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. If you want more MCAT content, just let me know. Um, maybe I can make a video on cars next. I know a lot of people are having trouble with that. So just let me know and make sure to watch my other videos or share this video. And I think that's it. I'll see you next time.